How's it going, people? Well, here's my backyard. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful day. <coughs> Anyhow, uh, I think I'm going to have a little uh, single malt to go with my morning joe because I've I've got the next three days off and it's already about a almost a foot of snow that's fallen overnight <sighs> so thought this would be an interesting backdrop to do my video in oh that's excellent coffee okay um I've been saving some tracks that I collected when I was visiting my uh, my aunt and my uncle on behalf of my cousin. Uh, see, my aunt and uncle, uh, they live on 65th Avenue in Sacramento, right behind the old Sunday go to meeting hall that I grew up being drugged to. Uh, yeah, it was my grandparents' church. My grandfather was one of the uh, founders and, uh, you know, drug my mom and, and her sisters and uncle there as kids. And then when, when I was a kid, I got drugged there too. It wasn't a church. They, they were the church. That was just a meeting hall. So... Anyhow, uh, I liberated a few tracks because they come from my grandparents' church. This is the church of my indoctrination. And I'm, I've been saving these. All right, here's one. He took my place. And it, it looks like the guy from the uh, seafood, uh, frozen seafood aisle, doesn't it? <laughs> the fisherman's friend, maybe. Better not be Ahab. All right. He took my place. I wonder who they're talking about. It's pretty dense. The print is kind of small. So it's got to be highly informative. Hang on. John Couts, I guess that's the name. It's uh, C O U T T S, Couts. An ungodly sea captain, so that's John Couts, the ungodly sea captain. It's all beginning to tie together now. <sighs> Okay, John Couts, an ungodly sea captain, lay dying in his cabin in mid-ocean. That's inconvenient. He felt helpless and alone and shrank back as the dread of eternity seems to close in upon him. <sighs> Calling the first mate, he asked, Williams, can't you get down on your knees and pray for me? That's an order. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> get on your knees for me. I mean, to pray. Williams didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm just dying here and I need someone to pray for me. Or at least show him how, maybe. <laughs> As you know, I've led a wicked life, and I'm afraid this is the end. But the first mate was not a praying man, and said he just couldn't do it. 
though he surely would if he could. <sighs> the captain then called over the second mate and in a frantic voice pleaded, Ask God to have mercy on my soul. <sighs> I wish I could, Captain, he replied, but I've never prayed in my life. What planet is this guy from? <sighs> okay. Then see if somebody on board has a Bible or a parachute. <laughs> life, life jacket, I don't know. After life jacket, excuse me. Ugh. The captain pleaded, see if somebody can read the Bible to me. <laughs> Hopefully it's got some underlining so you know where to look around and find them cherries that are nice and ripe for picking. Or at least apropos for the situation. <laughs> yeah. They searched the ship for someone who could pray, or at least had a Bible. <laughs> uh, how about a Bhagavad Gita? There's some good parts in there. It's a guide, I hear. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. They were about to give up the search when a sailor said that he had seen the cook's boy reading a book that looked like the Bible, but might have been a cookbook. Who knows? <laughs> The first mate located the cook's boy, Willie Platt. They're pretty specific. This must be a historical event. They got names and everything. Someone was taking down quotations. <sighs> I guess. Or it might be paraphrased, you know, a little art poetic license, maybe. Or the whole thing might be made up. But they got some, I don't know, pretty convincing. Okay. Willie Platt in the gallery. Good place to find the cook's boy. He finally admitted rather timidly that he had a Bible. <laughs> he stands alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay. Uh, then take it, my boy, said the mate, and hasten to the captain's cabin. He wants you. Again, this time bring a book. <laughs> bring the bibble. He's about to croak. Ah. Uh. As Willie entered the cabin, the captain lay still, the pallor of death already upon his face. Missed it by that much. <laughs> Seeing the boy... Oh, good. Oh, they were just being dramatic. <laughs> I haven't read ahead because... I figure I'll just watch the video twice instead. Or not. 
<laughs> Seeing the boy, he called. He rallied. Excuse me. Very small print. And cried out, Is that the Bible, my boy? <laughs> yes, Captain! <laughs> this is fucking amazing. It's just blowing me away. It's so dramatic. Mm. I'm going to need another cup of coffee to go with my scotch. Then sit down, lad, and see if you can find something that will help me. For I am afraid I'm going to die soon. <sighs> see if you can find something about God having mercy. On a sinner like me. In a hurry. Start, find me some cherries. Willie wished he knew his Bible better. Shame on you, Willie. But at least you had a book with you. <sighs> kind of like having a prophylactic in your wallet. <laughs> but you didn't use it, but it was, I had it nearby. <laughs> read it! Read your Bible, please, everybody. Read all of it. All of it! None of this jumping around shit. Read it all. Like you read most books, you lazy bastards. We are talking about eternity, you know. <laughs> He could only think of one verse, one in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, figured, <laughs> that his mother used to read to him. She probably packed the Bible for you, too. <sighs> he turned, hopefully, to this wonderful chapter of Isaiah that his mother used to read to him. He turned, hopefully, to, uh, wait, uh, which sets forth so fully God's love for poor sinners such as John Couts. <clears throat> mm. And started to read, reading slowly. He said, he came to the fifth verse. And we'll read that quote after I get another cup of coffee. Okay, we're going to dive into Isaiah in just a second here. I ain't going anywhere today. <laughs> I'd have to shovel my car out if I was going to go somewhere. I ain't doing that. Maybe, maybe later. Uh, 
Okay. Wanted to get good and ready. Okay. Here we go. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. That'll cheer up a dying man. <sighs> the chastisement of, of our peace was upon him, capitalized, And with his stripes, he, we are healed, end quote. Yeah, well, there you go. What more do we need to say? Well, maybe a little more. The poor captain listening now for his very life, realizing that this was his last chance. <laughs> Pull that ripcord. That's what you get a parachute for. You know, Ray Comfort salvation parachutes. <sighs> This was his last chance to be saved, lifted his hand and said, Stop, my lad. That sounds like it. Read that again. Yeah, that's how they do it. It's easier that way. Just like a little piece at a time or it might be too much for you. It's a funny thing about the truth. Everyone says they got it, but nobody really wants it. They just want to know they got it. And that's it. But if it's something else, they don't want it. It's got to be what it's got to be. Or else, game over. Take your ball and go home. Read that again. Captain, replied Willie, my mother used to have me put my name in that verse. May I put it in now? <laughs> Your name, I mean. Uh, oh, uh, may I put it in now and read it the way she taught me? Yeah, don't add a jot or tittle, but you can add some stuff, I guess. Just not any jots and tittles. Uh. Certainly, Sonny. Put your... Uh, certainly, Sonny. Put your name in just where your mother told you and read it out loud reverently and slowly the boy read it as follows. <laughs> Instant replay. It'll be exactly the same. You know, just like those lost pages of the Book of Mormon. Yeah. He, Jesus, now it's a little clearer, isn't it, when you add stuff to it? with a predetermined outcome in mind. <sighs> Whatever it is, it has to come out to that. Or we got to do the math again. It's probably broken. False math. Fake math. <sighs> he, Jesus, was wounded for me, Willie, uh, 
Willie Platt's transgressions. It makes it so personal that way. <laughs> You're involved now. They got Jesus' name right there in, with yours in the same goddamn verse. How'd that happen? <laughs> it's a fucking miracle. <laughs> oh. I would not be some shit if a Bible could do that. Like, Whoa, shit! <laughs> it, it changed, right? I, oh. <laughs> he is talking to me through this book. <sighs> if only. He was bruised for Willie Platt's iniquities. And uh, the chastisement of Willie Platt's peace was upon him, capitalize him, and with his stripes, Willie Platt is healed. She's going to do it again with the captain's name. Is that why we have their names in these parables? I always wondered about Lazarus and the rich guy. It's like we have a Lazarus and Luke that doesn't want to get resurrected. And it's all about resurrection. But he don't want to be resurrected. He's in Abraham's lap or something. Probably breastfeeding. In heaven. I mean, there's got to be breastfeeding in heaven. I mean, come on, guys. And some of you ladies. Okay, uh, turn the page. We're almost over. We're almost done. When he had finished, he felt the captain's hand upon his arm. Okay, I knew it. <sighs> oh, needs a little more spirits. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not shoveling my car out to go somewhere. I got stuff here. That's what a cabin in the woods is for. Oh, God, that's so nice. Like a miracle. <laughs> my boy. He said, put your captain's name in. And read it again. <laughs> that part. We're going to get it right. Third time's a charm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hang on. It's legal. I'm in California. Although California might move away from me. They want to become the state of Jefferson up here. We'll see about that. I don't really care. I don't have a dog in the fight. One way or the other. It's all a state of mind anyway. I mean, I'm right on the county line. So that's perfect for me. Butte County. Yolo County. I mean, Yuba.
Willie read again very slowly. He was wounded. You're not going to say Jesus this time. He just he. I guess you only have to establish that once when you're paraphrasing. He was wounded for John Cout's transgressions, and there's a lot of them, I'll bet. But, you know, he probably doesn't have the strength to commit any more. Good time to pull the ripcord. Deploy the parachute! He was bruised for John Cout's iniquities. John Cout probably had a damn good time for some of that. <sighs> the chastisement of John Cout's peace was upon him, capitalized. And with his stripes, John Cout's is healed, abracadabra. Alakazam. Uh, okay. The captain lay back on his pillow and repeated over and over those precious words. <laughs> A pearl of great price, ain't it? The precious words of Isaiah 53.5, just that should build a wall around that whole verse so just read it by itself all the time. Always a solution. Putting in his own name each time. That and sleep deprivation and peer pressure and other, you know, love bombing and shun and chastisement. Shunning. It's also healthy. <laughs> Putting in his own name each time, the joy of heaven filled his soul as he laid forth, laid hold as he laid hold by faith upon the Savior. He's reaching up, no doubt. Probably grabbing him by the heel or the ankle. So, hey. <laughs> uh, That his great work on the cross, good job, was sufficient to pay for his sins. Okay. Nice coffee. Excellent coffee. Before he fell asleep in Christ, it's not even really death at that point. <laughs> it's a trans, what? Trans translation, you know, it could be like, you know, I don't know, maybe like Elijah, you know, and but, um, who was the other guy? Enoch? Forget. I need to read the Bible again sometime. What do you think, folks? <coughs> I could read the Bible for you. Maybe turn some people to JC. <sighs> Before he fell asleep in Christ, he witnessed to every man on board that he was saved. <laughs> Ah, suckers! <laughs> I got to do everything I wanted to do. And then pull the ripcord at the last minute, you know. And... 
And no wonder they call that maneuver haloing. <laughs> Got a halo now. And a harp. And cherub wings. And you're probably not hard on the eyes either at that point. Who knows what the fuck you are at that point. It's magical. What you become. For the chastisement, which he so richly deserved, had fallen upon another. They capitalize the A in another, because we know who they're talking about. <sighs> the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that's Romans 6.23. If you piece all these things together, you come up with a crazy quilt, a chimera of faith. <laughs> yeah. Whatever gets you through, I guess. Beloved reader, do you know anything about the salvation? Yeah, heard a little. Have you taken your place? Wait, have you taken your place as a guilty sinner before God and trusted in Christ for pardon? And they leave it hanging there. But anyway, that's uh, freaking fascinating. Possibly even a true story. Gospel track distributors, distributors, box. 17406 Portland, Oregon. 97317. Anyway, I think that perfectly is summed up the, the way they talked about salvation when I was a kid. When I was going to Sunday school at this wretched little place with some very nice people and good food whenever they had, you know, I mean, I liked it. It's a, they were just, you had to be one of them or you weren't one of them and had to be pounded into uh, and molded into su submission. Just like they do in the false face. Anyway, anyway. That's kind of a trip down memory lane for me. That's just kind of a trip. <laughs> but that came from the church of my childhood. Yeah. Sunday go to Meeting Hall. Well, they think they would go like three times a week sometimes. Some people did. Sometimes they had morning and evening. And it was a little place. Maybe I can find some pictures. Anyway, I just did this because I'm having a snow day. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably play with this video and add some stuff to it so you can get an idea what I'm... Let me know. Did you learn something? You probably learned something about me. That's what I was raised on. Whatever the fuck that is. Let me know if you learned something about it, any of this. Help me out with it. Or maybe I've helped. Peace the fuck out and have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Ah, oh, look at that. Bye. Hey, you.